Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So we just posted the other day a video full of fabrics for the fall. There was like close to 40 fabrics there. So full of fa fabric inspiration for the fall. Now it's time to share with you our go-to fall patterns. Yes. You remember we've done this for spring and summer mm -hmm. already. Mm -hmm. um, so why not continue the trend yeah. and do fall as well? Mm -hmm. So, what is your first pattern? So, well, I'll start with what I'm wearing. My okay. first one is a kimono. Mm -hmm. I think kimonos are great to transition into the fall. Spring, I think, is also perfect, too. It's just a really nice, light layering piece mm -hmm. just to throw on. It's not too wintry looking. Mm -hmm. um, so, I really think a kimono is perfect for the fall. This is the So Caroline Florence kimono. It is a free pattern. Um, but it's also a pattern you can purchase. The free patterns of one size um, fits most. It is the hip length, I believe. I purchased the pattern. I didn't really realize um, what the free pattern entailed. I should have researched it a little bit more. But I probably wanted to sew the smallest size anyway, so I did purchase it. Um, but it comes knee length, hip length, and a cropped length. Um, so I really like it. It's super easy to put together. I sewed this one out of a knit, really nice knit. I've also sewn it out of a rayon chalet and out of a sheer. So I love it. It's easy. Give it a try. Yeah. And you just throw it on. Over. You just throw it on. I'm wearing it over an olive color tank top because olive has got that, you know, yeah. fall kind of. Yeah, I've worn it over true. a cream too. So, yeah. and I've paired it with a fitted knit skirt and booties. Mm -hmm. um, so I just think it's really kind of easy to pop on with just anything. Yeah, it's one of those things too. Whenever you go to like the movies or your office is really cold, it's nice to kind of yeah, have it just around. to have it. Yeah, I'd love to make one that's really kind of like a neutral that you yeah. could just leave on the back of your desk chair mm -hmm. and put it on when you get chilly because that happens to me all the time. Yeah, I don't know a black one. Sure. There's actually a girl at work wearing a really cute black one today. So yeah. I like to copy her and make mood. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, since you started with the first, with what you're wearing, mm -hmm. I'll start with what I'm wearing. And that is the Bellatrix Blazer by Paper Cut Patterns. Mm -hmm. So this is just a simple, um, you know, rounded lapel, extended lapel blazer. Simple? That thing's fancy. <laughs> well, I mean, the, the lapel is simple, right. not the pattern is simple. <laughs> um, but it is fully lined. Mm -hmm. Um, it has like a seam across the, I guess the waist. So it's mm -hmm. a little bit of a peplum. Mm -hmm. It's got a little pocket here, which I haven't opened. I'm a, mm -hmm. I don't want to open it. You're gonna leave it closed. I, yeah, so even pretty. whenever I would buy them, I would um, leave yeah. them closed. I just yeah. like them to stay perfect. And yeah. they're honestly too small to really anything. put anything in, yeah. but it is hidden nice. within the lining. Yeah, she I did a really it. good job um, designing this mm -hmm. pattern. Um, the fabric is like a cotton twill. From, we got it at Mood, mm -hmm. um, so it was really easy to pair the colors. And the color blocking was inspired by like a Hallmark movie that had Candace Cameron Bure in it. Uh -huh. And I don't know if you've ever paid attention to her personal style, but I love the yeah, way that she, she dresses. dresses really, and she really looks good. really cute in yeah. all the movies that mm -hmm. she's in. So this whole outfit is really almost exactly what hers was. Mm -hmm. Her jacket is the reverse though. It was a pink jacket with a navy lapel, which mm -hmm. I 100% intended to do, but when I started cutting, I don't know. I wasn't thinking. I guess I got you too excited. You didn't refer back to the picture and you just went yeah. for it. But I still love it. I love it. Yeah. yeah. So, and I'm I still jealous. think it's really cute. So, yeah. but obviously a lightweight blazer is mm -hmm. great for the fall. Yeah. The same reason why her kimono is, mm -hmm. you know, you can just throw it over any of your tank tops. You can put it on with jeans. Mm -hmm. um, you, I have it over like a shift dress. Um, so, you know, you can, yeah. you can really carry it through um, the fall and even a little bit into winter mm -hmm. down yeah, here definitely. anyways. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Good. yeah. So. Very nice blazer. Love it. So my next one is the hazel dress mm -hmm. by Victory Patterns. This was one of my first makes, mm -hmm. but I just love it for the fall because it is the three quarter sleeve. Yeah. And it's a little more covered up. It's got this really cute um, bow at high the neck front. Mm -hmm. Yeah, higher. Um, I really love the shape mm -hmm. of the bodice. Um, and it's really fun for color blocking. I love, I would love to find the exact fabrics yeah. for it. I really like how they put it together. You just want their sample. I love, I love their sample. I love the, the pinky peach corally color with yeah. the taupe. With the taupe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just awesome. Um, I made mine out of a chambray, um, real lightweight chambray 
dotted on top and solid for the bottom. Mm -hmm. And I wore it on Thanksgiving one year with um, tall boots, mm -hmm. and it, it was really cute. Mm -hmm. I really love it. This one for the fall. This one is really, really a pretty easy pattern too. Yeah. Yeah, I'd so like to make another one. Yeah, and I think that you know any long sleeve or three quarter mm -hmm. sleeve blouse type dress is just quintessential mm -hmm. fall. Yeah. I just feel like that's what you're seeing in all the stores. Mm -hmm. um, so even if you have like a little elasticized waist, mm -hmm. but you have the long sleeves, maybe a cuff, something mm -hmm. like that, that just says fall to me. Yeah. And you can use these lighter weight fabrics, mm -hmm. which you know makes it better for the warmer mm -hmm. temperature, slightly warmer temperatures. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. This is a good that, one. I love that one. That yeah. one is really cute. Um, my next one is Butterick 6388, and it is a sweater dress. And I'm sure you've seen this lots and lots of places. I saw a Facebook Live video that they did with the designer of this pattern um, where they basically verified what we already know. This is one of their top selling patterns from this fall collection. And it's no wonder why. It's just the perfect sweater dress, mm -hmm. French terry dress. They um, marketed it as athleisure, which is that like athletic wear that you wear outside of the gym or wherever. Um, but it comes with the sweater dress, but it also has like a sweatshirt. It also has a t-shirt and a vest and pants. So you really nice. can just like knock out your whole athleisure capsule wardrobe yeah. with one pattern. Yeah. Um, you will see tomorrow, I think tomorrow, whenever I do my Style Maker Fabrics blog tour, um, this is one of the patterns that I used for that with a double knit from Style Maker Fabrics. So be sure to tune back in for that to see what this looks like. Um, but you can look for it on Instagram. Lots of people are making it. Mm -hmm. It was really easy to put together. And I mean, sweater or dress. Yeah. Equals fall. Yeah. I mean, Perfection. yeah, it really, yeah. they go hand in hand. Yeah. But I want to make the other parts of mm -hmm. it too. Yeah. They're cute. I mm -hmm. like the other ones too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So sweater dress is next on our list. Okay. So next I have, um, the Sew Over It Ultimate Trousers. Mm -hmm. I had my eyes on these for a while, but never committed because of shipping from overseas. Mm. Um, but now Indie Sew is carrying their oh. patterns. So it's a lot easier to get them shipped from a they're in Colorado. Mm -hmm. um, so I finally decided to give them a try. So at my first pair and I really love them. I think they're great for the fall because they're a cigarette pants style ankle length. Mm -hmm. So not like your traditional trouser um, that you might wear in the winter. Um, these ones were really easy to make. Mm -hmm. uh, there, there's no pockets, which if I'm wearing a really fitted pant, I don't mind no pockets because mm -hmm. I'm not going to stick my phone in there anyways because mm -hmm. it's going to look lumpy and lumpy mm -hmm. on me. Um, it's finished with a facing with a waistband. Mm -hmm. So like if you've sewn a simple skirt with mm -hmm. a facing, then you can make these pants. Mm -hmm. um, invisible zipper on the side, super mm -hmm. easy. It was really like a skirt mm -hmm. that went all the way down to my legs. It had a crotch. <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, so fitting wasn't too much of an issue. I've read a lot of blog, blog reviews of people making these and people have got really lucky with these just working out for them. Um, Lindsay helped me. She's like my, my go-to helping with the fitting. Um, so the Lord knows I've had my fair share of yeah. issues. <laughs> so we, uh, I did not sew up a muslin with them, but I used fabric that I didn't really care if it didn't work out because it was super cheap. Um, so we were able to fix them after they were sewn mm -hmm. up, but she's going to help me do a full seat adjustment. Yeah, for we're going to try pair. that and see how they compare and see if, yeah, see if it's I do think you got... I mean, a pretty darn good fit. Yeah, I'm just excited. Just doing the one little adjustment, the yeah. little, I guess, mock adjustment that yeah. we did. Yeah. But I'm interested to see with the full seat um, how that will. Yeah. That will works better. It, yeah. Pants are fun. It's kind of like science a yeah. little bit. Yeah. So what? Um, do you remember the type of fabric? Yes, was? it was a cotton twill. Okay. Similar to um, what you're wearing. It was definitely the described on the website. Got it from Cali Fabrics. Um, it was described as a bottom weight, yeah. so I felt comfortable purchasing it yeah. without feeling a first cotton twill. So easy to sew with, easy yeah. to press. No um, stretch, right? No stretch. This right. does not call for stretch, but I think you could get by with something that had a little bit of a stretch. Yeah, maybe size down. Yeah. Or just be prepared to make more adjustments if yeah. you're going if you're going to. Yeah, do that. it says on the back. They have so many away. cute printed twills these days yeah. and I feel like the cigarette pant with the ankle length mm -hmm. um, are perfect for those. And I mean, it could be, you could easily crop these and yeah. make them like 
yeah. you know, cropped calf length. Yeah. I've got some corduroy that I've had forever mm -hmm. that I bought on clearance out in LA. Um, that now I've sewn these, I think that'd be perfect. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 I love an ankle pant for yeah. fall. That's such a good idea. Mm -hmm. Good idea. Okay. Is that your last one? That's my last one. My last one is also a pant, but it is a legging because, mm -hmm. you know, we can't get enough leggings in the fall. I don't think I have the instructions in here. Um, this is how I'm, half of my patterns are stored one way and half are stored the other <laughs> right now because I'm like transitioning. So this is still in the old version. Uh, anyway, so these are the Pacific leggings from Sewaholic. Uh, very straightforward pattern, I feel like. Not a lot of seaming, just the two, the outer seam, the inner there seam. There is a pair of seaming though. I've made those. Of Pacific? She's got a few different, comes with a few different oh. versions. One has seaming. I've only made the one that doesn't. Okay, so good. Be sure, unless I'm confusing them. I might be confusing them. Don't. I'll <laughs> <laughs> um, I will, obviously you're probably looking at the pattern right now as we're talking anyway, so yes. you know if you know what we're talking <laughs> about or not. But in general, just a legging for fall is perfect. As you know, you can wear all your tunics. You can um, layer your dresses, you can layer your skirts, you can really take those springtime garments that you, spring and summer garments that you made for the past few months and get a few more wears out of them mm -hmm. by just putting on some leggings and wedges. Or with that or, sweater, with, I like to wear leggings. Yeah. I like to make a sweater dress too short to wear without leggings. Yeah. And then we're going to wear it with leggings. Yeah. Like a, that you're just making it a tunic. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So. A little longer than a tunic for me. Okay. But, okay. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, so you can, um, you know, you guys know how to wear leggings. If anybody out there in the world doesn't know how to style leggings at this point, yeah. let us know. And But I'm pretty sure most people are well aware. Yeah. And what makes this specific leggings pattern unique, because there's so many out there. Mm -hmm. This one has a really cool zipper pocket in the waistband. Mm -hmm. I love it. It's big enough to fit an iPhone 6 mm -hmm. in the pocket because it's always like you're wearing leggings. Where does it go? I'm usually wearing them when I'm walking the dog. Mm -hmm. I don't have a purse. Mm -hmm. um, so it's really cool. You can put your phone in yeah. the back of there and zip it up ah! and yeah the directions are really well written ah! for that zipper pocket too so yeah that's good also i was eyeing a pattern a legging pattern from mccall's when we were on their site earlier this week um they have a really cool pair that's almost almost suggested as like a knit stretch pant you know what i mean it's yeah. not I mean, it is a legging, but it's not as tight as a mm -hmm. legging, and it has some interesting seam lines. So I want to throw that one in too because I really do love that one. Yeah. And I'll probably buy that pattern even though I already have this legging pattern. To me, it seemed more like a legging that you would wear out versus a legging right. you would work out in. Right. Whereas this might be more of an athletic mm -hmm. legging. The other one felt like pants. Yeah. But so, mm -hmm. yeah, there you have it. Those are our six go to fall patterns, mm -hmm. or at least, you know, ideas for styles of clothing to make mm -hmm. for the fall. Mm -hmm. um, I hope you enjoyed watching this. Go ahead and watch what we did for our summer and our spring go-to mm -hmm. patterns too because um, a lot of those patterns might go out of print or right. um, it might be a good time to buy those patterns yeah, if they go on sale. sale. Mm -hmm. um, so check those out. We'll leave a link in the description box um, back to those videos. Mm -hmm. Give this one a thumbs up if you loved it. Be sure to just be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our next upload and follow us on social media. Um, mm -hmm. We're inside the hymn everywhere. So thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.